Welcome back. This is the second video in our short series about using network switches in Dante systems. We've already explored Yamaha's SWR range, and now we're going to take a closer look at the rugged SWP switches, specifically designed for live sound and mobile applications. They're made to be moved about, plugged and unplugged frequently, and reconfigured often. The SWP range has rugged build quality with a strengthened chassis and rack ears and a number of ports on the back for easy connection with mobile audio equipment. And there's a backup power supply connection for peace of mind. Use the 24 volt Yamaha PA700 adapter for redundancy. Notice most of the ports use Neutrik Ethercon format, where a strong metal barrel protects the plastic RJ45 connector. And the built-in optical ports use Neutrik OpticalCon, which offer enhanced protection for the fiber terminations. This is really important when you lay down and coil up the cables regularly for each event. There are a range of rugged cable suppliers for the live event industry. Bear in mind the trade-off between cable flexibility, data rate, and maximum length. If a copper cable has solid metal cores, it may be less flexible, but can carry data a longer distance than stranded cores. Always make sure the cable is rated to carry one gigabit per second, so it should be Cat5e, Cat6, or better. Never use a copper cable that's longer than 100 meters. No excuses, just don't risk it. A gentle bend or squeeze could reduce its bandwidth to 100 megabits per second, resulting in a catastrophic loss of data. Use fiber for such distances instead. Multimode fiber would allow up to 550 meters with one gigabit links, or 300 meters with faster 10 gig links, while single mode will allow greater distances of 10 kilometers at both these speeds. There are different qualities of fiber as well. If you choose multimode, which is generally a bit lower cost, use OM3 or better, not OM1 or 2. With a core diameter of 50 micrometers and cladding of 125 micrometers. For single mode, use either OS1 or OS2. Both are suitable with a 9 micrometer core and 125 micrometer cladding. Whichever mode you choose, remember the same type of fiber module needs to be used at each end of the cable. SWP1 is only available with multi-mode fiber, and the ports carry one gigabit per second of data. You get a choice of none, one, or two ports per switch. SWP2 is available with either multi-mode or single-mode fiber, and they all have two fiber modules built in. However, they are rated at 10 gigabits per second, so are much more capable. This does mean that an SWP1 cannot be connected to SWP2 with fiber. They are not compatible, even if both are multi-mode. It's because of their different data rates. So if you want to use them together, connect with a copper link. If you have a large mixing system running at 96 kilohertz, like a Rivage PM10, 7, 5, or 3, then you'll probably need the higher bandwidth of the SWP2. Even though each Dante device alone cannot generate more than one gigabit per second of data, when combining multiple devices, one gig could easily be exceeded. So you should choose SWP2 with high channel count, high sample rate systems. Anything with more than 200 audio channels in the network. Another huge benefit of the SWP switches is how they will save you time, 
particularly if you need to reconfigure them for a different job each month, week, or day. They have a range of preset configurations suitable for different Dante systems. We'll take a closer look at the details in later videos, but they are intelligent managed switches, which instantly configure VLANs, trunking, link aggregation, quality of service, IGMP snooping, and querier, all for a variety of Dante-based applications. Now, don't worry if I lost you with a few of those terms. I will explain everything step by step in this series. For now, be assured that you don't need to become a network guru before you can deploy successful large-scale Dante-based systems. The SWP range really does make it easy. They differ from the SWR range in that VLANs, trunks and links still need to be programmed manually with them if you want those facilities. Though they do have a neat Dante optimization feature in their software control, which I'll show you soon. So the SWP range happened to be the quickest in the industry to set up for the type of Dante networks required at live sound and live broadcast or streamed events. If you need to network Dante devices together and also some non-Dante devices, use switch presets A or B. These will also provide redundant links between other switches where two cables can be used as a backup. If you need to create two separated Dante networks, perhaps for redundancy, then use switch preset C, all set with the flick of a switch before power up. And one more helpful thing, loop protection. This feature is included in all the SWR and SWP switches, but the SWPs give you front panel indicators. I think most networking users have made a mistake at some point and created a loop with their cables. It acts like acoustic feedback and quickly overflows the network with data, causing devices to lose communication. Well, these switches detect such a problem and block it to avoid any serious length of silence, thus keeping your valuable performance alive. Look out for my next video because I'll be showing you how to manage and monitor your network using free computer software. Be notified when anything unexpected occurs. Map out your network and check how much bandwidth is being used in each switch. Bye for now.